all um, half a dozen of you. That's great. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we did this in Auckland the other night, and Bob and I, um, and uh, another farmer, Julie Carmen uh, Newman. Newman, I'm getting mixed up with Judy Carmen. Judy Carmen, a great um, researcher from Australia. Um, we travelled through New Zealand last year, so did anybody come to that uh, meeting that we had here? Have you heard Bob and me present on this before? Oh, that's great. <laughs> so you might see some of the slides that you might have seen last year, but there's a little bit of a difference. Um, so um, you'll probably know who we both are from the blurbs that you would have um, read. Stephen Browning, Green Party MP with primary production portfolios, including GE and organics and agriculture, all of that. And uh, uh, a little bit of a relevant one at the moment, security and intelligence. So you can all... Um, Submit to the. Um, I mean, it's too late to submit to the GCSB bill if you haven't already, but um, we've got that coming up. On the GE, my background is uh, as a, apart from being an organic grower for 17 years, was spokesperson for Soil and Health, um, who did the Organic NZ magazine. I was spokesperson from them from 2003 until later 2011 when I became a Green Party MP. So we're heavily involved around organics, and one of the um, main voices. Um, G. Um, yes. Or must be. Yeah. <laughs> come on, just start. Um, yeah. Yeah. One place to come and try shoots to get warm um, And uh, so I follow this pretty pretty closely. And it's a moving feast, and I think uh, as a community, um, if you're opposed to GE, uh, as I am, I think we've all collectively done very well, and I said that at the march recently, because um, we don't have commercial crops out in, in New Zealand. However, there is commercial crops, or there are commercial crops in Australia. We've got um, both uh, cotton and canola, and, and Bob will talk about that in his personal experience. Um, in introducing Bob, who will come on straight after me with his own um, slideshow, uh, I've been to Bob's place and seen what went on there as well, and uh, have met with different Australian people over a fair while, well before um, GE was actually launched, uh, GE Canola was launched into Australia. There was a fair pushback from farmers, and it worked for a while, but ultimately uh, the movers and shakers succumbed. So my presentation will be um, primarily about what's happened in New Zealand over the last decade or so uh, in terms of what's in our environment. Uh, the slideshow, you see uh, Claire Bleakley's name up there. Claire and I have worked uh, a lot together um, and we've had sort of um, evolving slideshows based on what we've picked up. Some of the stuff we've picked up from um, taking photos ourselves uh, in my case, climbing over the fence at Lincoln and taking a, fo a photo of the genetically engineered brassica flowering that shouldn't have been. Um, they were, well, I shouldn't have been over the fence too, they reckon, but they didn't bother charging me because of the information that I produced. Um, but Claire and I have worked very closely, and um, so I, just so that we can use the photos back and forth, we just so put her name there as well. Um, what Claire has also done is done a lot of inform official information um, stuff once these breaches in the Crown Research Institute's field trials occurred, then there'd be a biosecurity um, report done and then you could, through an OIA, uh, get that information. So some of the photos are the scientists' own photos as well. So I'll rip into it um, and go through the New Zealand situation in terms of these slides, which is around the field trials primarily, I'll add a little a few other bits in, uh, and I can, after, talk about the situation around food in New Zealand too, which is pretty relevant, so, um, I'm trying to think when questions should come, well, this is pretty informal today, it's all more informal when there's a few people, so um, you can possibly ask questions along the way, it might be I'll say there's another slide coming, or otherwise ask afterwards. How, how did you know where the, where the crop was, the breastfeed crop was? Um, through hard detective work and some good luck. Um, um, 
we knew it was around Lincoln. This is the Brassica one. Mm. Yep. Knew it was around Lincoln. Um, we knew it was plant and food. Well, it was crop and food research then. Port, uh, port research and crop and food merged to plant and food, sort of in the middle of this mess. Um, and uh, it was secret, but we knew it was in the Lincoln area. Um, I did a lot of looking personally, just um, basically on my own steam. Spent some um, hours and times, different times. Uh, also, it was literature um, search and was looking at reports and different things and just adding bits and pieces together. Mm -hmm. I learned along the way, and it was a good luck, that it was within a certain radius uh, by something else in another role that I had that I heard that. And um, I fine-tuned it. We actually discovered it quite a long time before we rediscovered it. Uh, actually, it's right there. I've got uh, pictures of it. Um, when it was under, it was parted and everything. And it was hidden. I don't know if you're involved at all out there or no. Um, it was hidden by it not being signposted. Everything else in crop and foods was signposted and they thought they'd be more clever with that facility it wasn't signposted. But we ducked down in the driveway as we want to do. It wasn't an MP then so I could do certain things. But, um, and um, took pictures of it and my friend Claire was with me at the time. This is it, this is it. And I said, well, there's nothing. It could be heirloom plants. Who knows? You know, until we really know, you know, was, you know um, we will leave it. Later on we got some evidence, some information in a, uh, in a report uh, to do with another genetically engineered um, pro uh, program and realised that everything meant that that was the spot. And so I went back there and I was visiting my, one of my sons who was at Canterbury University at the time just ahead of Christmas and um, I thought I'd go and have a look at this year's planting or that year's planting and um, it wasn't. Um, part of it was just, I'll show you the photo after I saw it.